Hello! This is Wimmery, and as you know, Toon Boom 16 has come out, and with it, the Master Controller template we have all been waiting for. In order to get the Master Controller set up, you need to first right-click in one of these panels and go to Master Controller. It may be down here and around the M, but since I already have it open, you can just press it and it'll show up here. This is the Master Controller? And this is going to be the sliders that you can use for other features, like if you want to add emotions and other things that you don't want all on one single master controller, you can add it there. So, I made a little rig here. Um, it is all just one drawing. As you can see, just one, one drawing for the whole view. I made it um, from the middle view, and then... I kind of used all, it's made out of deformers as you can see right here. And in order to make a turnaround with just one drawing, you just scoot everything over and use the deformers to make the turnaround that you want. So all this is just playing with the deformers. So this is one view, one view, one view, all just one drawing. Saves a bunch of time, made this in just like one evening. And then in order to make the other side, we use the flipping method where you take, you can take um, half of these and you can just flip them using this, the flip horizontal button in the toolbars property. You go to a keyframe and you just flip that button. I think it's possible to just flip all of them at the same time, but don't quote me on that. So for master controllers, there's going to be a small issue that I'm going to bring up here in a second about flipping that kind of got me stuck for a bit. Shout out to TRY for helping me figure this out. Okay, so when we're setting up the master controller, we're going to we're going to first go to our node view. Make sure that the thing you want to be master controlled is in a group. Since this is just the head, I only grouped the head. So, we're going to press this. Press master controller. And as you can see, we got the options to do um, pre-made templates. If you do a pre-made template, let's say we click this one. There's a whole bunch of these dots here. And you're probably freaking out going, what does this all mean? Well, this is going to be your middle front view. All these three. Anything that's in zeroed out or smack dab in the middle of this grid here, that's your middle view. This will be your right view, and this will be your left view. And these are the frames that you can choose in between. Each dot you can place a frame on. So, if I wanted to, I can place a frame on here. So, since again, I have this backwards, it should I should have started with the left view first, so it would correspond. So yeah, that didn't happen. So this is, I'm actually going to work a little bit backwards. This is my error, but you try to make it so that the left view is the first frame. So yeah, let's get this going. So we're starting off with left view is going to say frame 17. Frame 17 is that good. I'm going to squeeze this down some so I can see. I'm going to double click to make sure this is right. Okay. Now we're going to add the next. It doesn't always like to click all on it. I'm pressing spacebar to move this. So you may actually have to zoom in and click on it. I'm going to use this next frame here. All right, now we got into the middle. And you're probably thinking, okay, I'm just going to slap on my middle frame and call it a day, but Actually, you really shouldn't because this is where the flipping issue happens. When you um, don't have this set up right, instead of just 
swapping to this frame and that frame really smoothly without any tweens, it'll slightly tween or what is called interpolating or interpol. And you kind of don't want that. So in order to fix that, we need to actually go closer. And we need to move this over some. So I'm going to move this to two. Can't quite see it yet, so we'll move this over four. And you can see that there's another button underneath. I'm going to move this over a little more so you can see it. <sighs> okay. That is the other frame that you should actually have to help stop the flipping. So the one that's staying there is going to be the left side. The one that's on top is going to be the right side. So. I'm going to make sure that frame 9 is the left and frame the next one, the right one, should be actually frame 7. So I'm going to go to frame 7. You can go right here and switch it. Switch frames right there. Now you want these to be kind of as close as possible so I'm going to switch this back to 2. But you don't want it on top. All right, and so now we're going the other way in the last one. Now, unfortunately, since this is a pre-made template, I'd actually need to fill every single one of these with the same things. So you can't actually leave any of these blank. So just copy and paste all those same ones. Or you can just go through and just be like, click this one. <laughs> Let's zoom in again. Click this one since we're already on this frame. Click that and click that and just go down the list of doing that. But since this is just one view, I'm not going to do that. And I'm going to show you how to do it for if you're just doing like side to side. I'm going to show you how to do that. This would help you if you have like an up view of the character looking up and this one is going to help you with downward views where the character is looking down. So top, bottom, and side to side. So I'm going to exit out of this and show you how to do a custom one. So again, before you click on this, you have to click on your group. It's going to have an error if you don't. So make sure that you definitely pay attention to your group. So I'm going to have new to make a custom one. I'm going to need only nine of these. I only have nine frames going across and I only need one row because it's only going side to side. You can actually make these a little smaller too. I think that's as close as I want it. All right. There we go. So there's a slight little issue with this. If you notice, there's not a line connecting these dots together. And you kind of need that in order for this to work properly. So what we need to do is I'm going to go to frame one. And again, I got this in reverse. So I'm going to click this one and assign this frame. I'm trying to click off. Ah, there we go. Okay. Now we got it, I think. Okay, yes. So this frame is now assigned to frame 17, but for some reason this is at 100%. It should actually be at zero. And then we should be fine. Now the, we're going to do the next frame. And I'm going to assign it as well. Frame 16. So I'm going to take out that 100, make it a zero. And now the lines connect, and that is how you make these work with a custom. All right. Sorry, it's a little hard to click. I mean, we need to zoom in a little more. Okay. So frame 14. Get rid of the 100. Next frame. And now we're at the middle frames. Let's see. I'm going to get rid of the 100, and I'm going to see if I can move this over some. I'm going to say, what about three? 
no. Let's try seven. Is there anything underneath this? So there is nothing underneath this. The best way to fix that is we actually need to make a new thing. Ah, uh, ha, uh, ha, uh, ha. Uh. Okay. When you're making a custom one, it doesn't automatically put an extra dot underneath. So you actually need to make one. So I'm going to add 10 frames instead. And again, we're going back to one. So now that you see, instead of there being a center one, actually I want this a little smaller, pardon me, oop. I'm gonna make this much smaller. Make it one and make it 10. Cool. So I'm gonna just go straight to the center and since this again is in reverse, I'm going to click that frame 9, make it 0, and then I'm going to make this 0 and 0. So now that it's zeroed out, it's straight in the middle. I'm going to go to the other frame. I'm going to make this a little smaller. I'm going to go to the other flip and assign it to make zero it out, zero this out, and there we go. I'm going to make this a two so I can actually see it again, and they should be visible. If you look real closely, it's there. I can scoot it over so you can see. It's there! And so now they're sharing. And I'm gonna go back and get this fixed. Whee! All I need to do now is just zero this out. I don't have to change with the positioning at all. Zero, and click on that one. And hooray, we're done. We're gonna press the create button. Press okay. It's gonna ask you for a name. I already have one set up, so I'm just gonna save it over top. Yep. I want it. All right, and if everything went smoothly, it should work. So I'm going to zoom out and you can see that there is that bar. Fair warning though, you don't want to actually mess with this over top of your, um, your whole drawings that you've already made. It's going to mess things up a little bit. So instead you just copy and paste one of these frames, it doesn't matter which, and it'll show up there. like. And like so, you can mess with it all you want over here. Now the purpose of the master controller is, one, it makes animation much easier if you can visually just move things around to the point that you want. And also it saves a ton of time. Once you have all the presets made, you can have this character smiling. Every single keyframe you ever needed can be made. And there, there can also be a master controller for each one of those. Like say if you want the character angry or sad, all you need to do is just move your master controller. You can even maybe make it so that um, you have an in-between of an angry or sad face. And you can have multiple sliders too. So if you wanted, you can just have this side to side for you. If you want the um, pre-made templates where it, it's going up and down too, you can make that. And then you can have like one slider just for happy, one slider just for sad and neutral. It's anything goes. 
and you can do full body. It doesn't just have to be a head. This is just a quick little demo of what you can make in two days. Yay! So, thank you for hanging out!